All the joys of school holidays. Kids are off for another two weeks for Easter. Still got to crack on with the business. Still got to pay them bills, pay the mortgage off, etc. And today, doing a bit more sourcing. Not a boot sale this time. A bit of charity shopping. So we're combining the family time with the sourcing time. So we're in Malden today. Going to get down to the prom. Maybe fish and chips a bit later on for tea or dinner. We also planned to come to Molden as well. We do like it here. We did look at houses when we was planning on a move in Molden. But we're at the Fairly Hospice like charity shop warehouse. They have two warehouses now. It used to be just the one which was massive anyway. They have two. One solely for clothing, shoes, etc. And one for bric-a-brac furniture and everything else. I think it's been like a year or two since the last one. So a bit of an update. We'll see what it's like now. Parked up. It's really busy. We had to wait for a car parking space to get here. So yeah let's get in i think i'm gonna go in the bric-a-brac one first because he might find some more interesting bits amy's already found some cool bits then he was asleep so amy went in first and she's already found a few bits so i'll show them in a bit but yeah let's get in there now see what i can find all right here we go plenty of bric-a-brac as i said all glass here ceramic Omelette maker. Bit of artwork. It's cool. I think I'll pick this up. Vintage Christmas is a good seller. Candle. One pound, I think. Yeah, I'll keep that one. Amy found some vintage Christmas, so she, I don't know if that was with it, and she missed it, or if it was a separate, yeah, one pound, don't know what it's selling for, but yeah, I was on the lookout for vintage Christmas stuff, and list it all year round, for some reason, Christmas sells all year. I've just seen a Castle Grey Skull from He-Man. Just on the side, unbox Castle Grey Skull. I can't get to it. I can see it, but I can't get to it. Can I squeeze past? Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> incomplete. Oh, broken door. Broken door, incomplete. So I got to the Castle Grey Skull, as you saw. Apparently it's incomplete and it has a broken door. Uh, it was 25, now 15 pounds. I'm not actually sure, I've never actually sold one before. So I don't know what it's worth, but yeah. Broken door and incomplete, 15, not sure. That's cool. Kids rug, like the solar system. That's pretty cool, a bit different. Probably won't pick it up, but the solar system. The first warehouse complete. Got my one pound purchase of a vintage Christmas candle. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's worth, but bundled it with the rest of the stuff Amy bought. Here you go, this is what Amy got. Train before me, vintage Christmas. That sort of stuff. This is cool. This is probably the best one. Vintage ball balls. Still in its original box. Really cool. And some more vintage ball balls. For all her stuff, she paid three pounds for everything. And there's this vintage money box she took a punt on. 79 I think it said Paddington Bear so all that lot was three pounds and then mine so four quid for all that but I don't know if she got this as well a card shuffler that's for us at home so I haven't got one and the kids play card games hard to shuffle yeah bargains three quid or four pounds spent overall so that's the bric-a-brac one now we're in the massive clothing one that's upstairs as well now wedding shop occasion shop so they've expanded even further let's see what we can get Occasion shop's closed. Hi. I found another vintage Christmas bit you missed. There's a like a candle thing. I think it was a real candle, but it's just like a um, ornament. But it was vintage, and it was a pound. Really nice. Sartorial. Bit of wine. <laughs> Live like Louise. What are they? I'd have to look it up. Oh, Amy's on the rails. Found, that's a nice one. Three quid. 
Ralphie. Big bit of embroidery. Have we got a back? Ah, oh, I dropped it. So back kit, a number. Ah, we must have a back number then. Oh, there you go. A, a side number, number two. Yeah, three quid, men's medium. We'll add that to the pile. Adidas backpack. Uh, is that real? How much is it? I don't know. Don't know if it's real. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll leave that just in case. Do you want to just shove it back on the floor over there, Mayor, with the other ones? Funky embroidery. Cat. Not too many shoes today. Found the accessories. Amos just found this. It's like a... Looks like a Carhartt. Like a capless canvas cap. Denim. Dry goods. 100% cotton. That is cool. It's like a... Yeah, baseball cap, but with no front bit. There's like a roll up. That's pretty cool. It's cool, isn't it? Denim supplies. That's not Primark, is it? Denim supplies? No. I, don't think so. I like it. It's cool. This was that silk. Look at that. So many ties. It's mainly it's names. Got dinner down it. Ties are weird because you can get a silk one, but it won't have the right name and it'll be worth nothing. If you find a silk one with the right name, then it can be worth a good amount. You found his lady already in the car? Yeah, you'll find yeah. it. Yeah, we've already lost the teenager. Be careful in the car park though. It's a lot of ties. Not many of the good ones do stand out. Like they've got a different pattern or something. But, not seeing anything today. It's got a cool hat. But, that's a Zara kid's hat. Funky colours, right. What's all? Oh, hello. Hopefully, just scroll along, see if anything stands out. Magallion. Don't know what that is. That looks a bit basic. There's a lot to go through, but hopefully, oh, there you go. Men's trousers, 50p each, ideal for whatnot. Find a decent brand on it, 50p. Get a lot of them. Jesus, look at this. Men's top a pound, men's tops a pound. T-shirts pound. Yeah, ideal. See, it's quantity, so it's going to take a while to go through it, but I'm going to try and go through as much as I can because they're a pound each. Find something good. Get on whatnot, get it gone. There you go. Ah, oh, what I just found a Ralph. Cedarwood State. Trying to be Ralph, but Primark. Never mind. Right. I'll let you know if I find anything. So it takes a lot of scrolling in this shop because I think like fairly hospices in and around Essex, their stock that doesn't sell after a while. I think it all gets lumped here mostly. There's some donations as well, but it's a lot of Primark, a lot of Georgia, Vazda, etc. But I found something. Not like amazing, but vintage. I think it's vintage. Not sure of the actual code. I don't, I'm not too sure. Official England product, Marks and Spencer's England, but it's like a polo top. England free lines. Yeah, maybe not as old as I originally thought. 2010. Now uh, 2010. So it's a little bit of age. It's only eight marks of Spencer, but it's a pound and it's the Euros this um this summer. So for a quid, I've got a sports show and whatnot. Looks cool. Bung it in the wash, a couple of marks for a pound. Worth we'll a risk. And I nearly found something else, but not quite with the condition. Barber International Polo, but the rubberized sort of print yeah it's coming away so it's just a polo barber would have been nice for a quid but yeah obviously the main feature on the chest that people can see is falling off so no good even for a quid finding such random stuff as well look at this one gildan the flaming burger food cart with fire <laughs> no age to anything just yeah a random burger van i guess but it's in a charity shop for a pound that's another England one. England, size small. Again, just a t-shirt, but I've got my sports show. It owes me a pound. Euros this summer, ideal. Again, take it, not as cool as the polo, but it's still a pound, still an England's crest on it. There's a couple of other random ones I came across. What was the other one? Was that a sweatshirt or something? Uh, where's it gone? This one. It's a sweatshirt, like a V-neck, but Hong Kong. Welsh male voice choir. So random. With nice embroidery, but so, so random. Bit too niche. I don't know if it's going to sell, but it's so, so random. Because it's 
charity shop, mostly charity shop leftover stock. Obviously it's, I'm finding, yeah, George, Primark, Next, and random, random stuff, but so random, very, 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 very niche that it probably wouldn't sell for me either. So, yeah, a bit of fun though, while scrolling through the FNFs and what else we got here? Yeah, FNF, Primark, Red Herring, MS, yeah. 90% that sort of stock here, but then it could be a random shirt or top, etc. that hits hard, worth a lot of money and it's been missed by everyone else. It's my job to find it. I just found something here, literally as I was talking. It's not a banger. Again, for the sports show, PGA Tour, like a turtleneck <laughs> or high neck. I think there's a bit of embroidery as well. There you go, embroidery there. PGA Golf, like long sleeve polo for a pound again. We'll keep it. There you go. Is that shoving in there? That's fine. Yep. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Just paid fourteen pounds for this whole bag. For fourteen pounds. Where else can you fill a bag for fourteen quid? Not bad. A uh, couple of keepers as well. Yeah, fourteen pound. I thought it was going to be more than that. Got some linen. I even picked up a couple of bits as well. That white label, white company. Fourteen hundred percent linen. I think. Or cotton, I can't remember. A couple of bargains, There's, there is some linen in there. Got some m &S shoes, they were three pounds. That's the tracksuit for Maisie to keep. PGA Tour, you saw that one. A couple of other bits and bobs. Yeah, and then obviously, Amy, with the star of the show, the vintage Christmas ball balls. And then I found a candle to go with it all. Awesome. Back in the unit now, uh, yeah, looking good now, starting to get organized. Welcome to my first ever SKU system, currently underway. But yeah, um, that warehouse sale went really well. Put up quite a few bits, filled up like IKEA bag size full, nice and dirt cheap as well. I thought it was like a pound a piece. Got their paid, like the broke shoes I got were £3.50. Maisie got like a tracksuit, that was a fiver. There's something else that was three quid. And we had a load of other pound stuff, but it all came to £14 which is like less than a pound an item. So I don't know if they had the sale on, it wasn't very obvious if it was three for two or everything's a pound. Not sure, but dirt cheap, less than a pound, which is perfect for whatnot. It's very difficult whatnot. I'm trying to get that amount of stock regularly is difficult. Working it out, fumbling away through it, but it seems to be worth it. Here's the whatnot pile. Two massive bags full and even then that's overflowing. So I complain about trying to get enough stuff, but at the moment, it seems to be working out right. In the bigger charity shops outside of the town at cheaper prices seems to be the way to go. 